Hello there, my beautiful Taurus friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Rhea, and I do these readings every week. Now, Taurus, I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. Then I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Animal Spirits Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that have been seeing any kind of animals, insects, repeating numbers, or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. All right, Taurus, let's pull some cards and see what spirit would like you to know today. So we're starting here with the Three of Pentacles. So this card is letting me know that you're going to experience a lot of growth and expansion in your life through your hard work and your dedication here. Taurus, I feel that you're putting out a lot of energy out there to create what it is that you want. You're building a solid foundation for yourself. People are going to take note of this. They're going to recognize you for your hard works, which in turn is going to be rewarded. All right, so this is coming through for you today. So three of pentacles. We're also getting the temperance card. So balance is required harmony, self-regulation, all of that is coming through with this card today. Now, this is a major arcana card. This energy is prominent. It's in the background. Some of you are feeling this intensely and others you are feeling this subtly. Whenever I receive a major arcana card, this lets me know that there's a breeze of change coming into your life here. All right, so there's something coming through that is going to shift things for you. We also have the Two of Cups. This is such a beautiful energy here because there's an alignment, a part partnership that is happening okay so a union and I'm getting a powerful couple vibe here as well also soulmate energy coming through all right so I want you to use your own intuition with my readings today Taurus so whenever you see my cards popping up on screen I want you to try to interpret them using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages all right so we've got the two of cups so I just wanted to remind everyone that we all live a different life experience. These cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone. So those of you that are watching today and my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind. All right, so let's take a look at these cards. Have any of you seen any kind of repeating twos or threes in your life recently? If you have, spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of the life path number two and the life path number Number three. You can search these on Google for their meanings, but I feel this is going to help you navigate through your journey right now. This is for the next two weeks for you, Taurus. So I do feel that some of you are working really hard. Some of you are in a partnership with somebody. Maybe you're working together with a business partner, maybe your spouse, right? You're working and creating this beautiful balance, harmony in your life in order to create and expand in your world. I'm getting a baby energy for some of you as well that are watching today so perhaps this has to do with the expansion of your family right uh, I do feel that some of you are trying to build your wealth your income right you're trying to really stabilize your finances and you're working hard towards that so some of you are picking up extra shifts maybe you've got a side hustle going on um, and you're really putting extra effort into everything that you're doing right now Taurus and I feel that people are seeing this they are taking notice and because that is happening you are going to gain recognition of this but some of you are also going to receive some sort of a promotion or a raise at work um, there's almost like this leveling ha leveling up that is happening i'm also getting this beautiful creative energy this creative expression so some of you are working really hard on a passion project or a business that you um, have on your own here in order to grow and expand and I feel that 
making some edits and adjustments around some little things here, you're going to experience that. So those of you that have been watching me for a while, you have noticed that I've recently um, switched up my branding and this is kind of that creative expression, right? So um, switching things up a little bit and I just felt the need to switch things up because I had this vision in my mind and now that vision is coming into fruition. And myself and my husband are working really hard to join forces, just like this Two of Cups energy. So I do feel for some of you out there that are watching, perhaps you are teaming up with somebody in order to grow and expand in your life, wherever that is in your life. So any of you that are watching today that would like to comment in the comment section below, let me know what the Three of Pentacles, Temperance and the Two of Cups means for you in your life right now. That would be awesome to hear. Um, now I'm getting this uh, beautiful energy here as well of um, teamwork makes the dream work. Okay, so things are going to work for you and there's a lot of collaboration happening um, and it's a great time to collaborate with others as well. So if you're able to really reach out to people where you can collaborate, collaborate shared goals, um, like-minded individuals in order to help you grow or in order to help growth uh, for yourself and the other party, right? Um, now, the other thing is uh, spirit guides want you to keep going here. They're wanting you to push some limits here. Those of you that are frustrated, maybe something isn't working for you. This is where that edit and adjustments comes in, right? It's all about looking at the bigger picture. Keep going. Don't ever stop what you're doing because you're frustrated here, Taurus. I just feel that sometimes we have this creative block um, or just this lull that can come into our life and we have to kind of learn to navigate our way through that energy that comes through. This happens for me too, right? And what I do is I start looking at other people's channels. They don't necessarily have to be tarot channels, Instagrammers. I start watching tutorials and then all of a sudden something clicks and it starts to inspire me and then away I go, right? This kind of energy has come through for some of you where you're feeling this almost like a lull, this slow period in your life. And this is where you can um, start working on other things that are um, meaningful to you here, even picking up hobbies. Okay, spirit guides are showing me hobbies, working hard and also playing hard, right? Really getting together with family, really spending some time with the people that you care about. Um, that is coming through here. And I'm seeing some of you actually building something that you are going to either uh, offer to uh, an audience, offer to the world or customers or something like that. It's like an actual physical thing that you are um, building here a Taurus. So that's coming through as well. There's going to be a lot of success around this if you plan this properly. Um, and the growth is going to be substantial. And now the other thing is there's the temperance card, self-regulation and balance. There may be something that you're doing too much of that isn't required. Maybe you're putting too much energy towards something that isn't really benefiting you. So it's all about um, being mindful and aware of where you're putting your energy at this time. Um, grounding yourselves also is going to help in a very big way here. Uh, some of you are artists I'm getting. Uh, I'm seeing art. Like, I don't know if you paint or you draw. If there's something that you're doing that is artistic, very creative, maybe it's a graphic designer out there. I'm seeing uh, images of someone's artwork that is going to do really well. It's going to start taking off here. There's going to be recognition around this. So I'm getting that coming through as well. Um, I'm seeing like groups of people here for some of you standing in a crowd and speaking. So public speaking, perhaps, where you talk in front of public. So this can come any which way, right? So I'm just seeing a lot of success and growth expansion for a lot of you out there that are watching today. And this is through your hard work, your determination, your devotion to whatever it is that you're wanting to see growth in. And really, um, you know, especially here with the temperance card coming through, um, is any kind of um, taking things in moderation, okay? I'm getting a lot of distractions coming through. So this these distractions need to kind of be um, 
controlled here. So what spirit guides want you to do is look at all the distractions in your life, things that take your attention away from you focusing on your goals. What are these things in your life right now that are taking your energy? It's now time to reassess them. Are they necessary? Is there any way that you can keep them at bay? This could be your cell phone. This could be like you watching too much TikTok or YouTube shorts, right? Whatever this is, maybe this is smoking, right? Maybe this is, I don't know, pot. Uh, this could be alcohol. Alcohol, this could be drugs whatever this is for you there's too much of something happening in your lives so this is where the balance is required this is where that self-regulation is required this could be unhealthy eating right um, they're really wanting you to it's almost like somebody's walking on a tightrope this is what I'm getting here somebody's walking on a tightrope and they're falling off and they really want you to balance things out in your life here at Taurus um, I'm getting this energy of somebody by the name of Michelle coming through. I don't know if it's, there's a Michelle watching today, but I'm getting the name Michelle. It could be Michael, but I'm seeing the words in my mind coming through. I'm not seeing them very clearly, but it's, I think it's Michelle or Michael. I don't know if any of you are watching today by that name, but this is Spirit Guides um, giving you a shout out today, I guess. I don't know, maybe there needs to be some sort of balance in your life. There's something that is off balance right now. And in order for you to succeed here, that balance has to come through. So this is what is uh, being mentioned today for you, to uh, Taurus. Isn't that interesting? What is that other thing that's coming through right now? Um, what is this energy that is coming through? I'm getting something strong, but I'm not seeing it very clearly. I'm seeing the image, but I'm not seeing it very clearly. So maybe this will come through clearly a little bit later here. So self-regulation. Um, spirit guides are wanting you to avoid any kind of extreme situations, anything ex that you feel is extreme right now to really pull back just a little bit here, Taurus, and slow things down. I feel that, um, is some of you may be running on empty, empty energy here. So this is why they're wanting you to really self-regulate and ground your energy and take some rest. I'm getting the Four of Swords coming through with this card um, and seeing what your limits are, right? Because sometimes we go past our limits. It's kind of like when we work out, right? You work out way too much and then your body's too sore. It's that kind of energy or you eat too much junk food, then you don't feel good the next day. It's too much of something. I keep getting this. They're showing me too much of something. Okay. And what's it's coming through again now. Okay. Sagittarius is what's coming through. So I don't know if there's a Sagittarius energy around you right now. This could be a partner, right? This could be someone that is entering your life. Um, maybe there's too much, um, too much of some one person uh, energy on you that needs balance. That's also coming through here for you, um, Taurus. This could be a Sagittarius energy. Also, spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of the light uh, of Sagittarius. Okay, so that's also coming through. Peace and calm. Um, I feel sometimes when we go through um, trying to build ourselves, trying to gain that success, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. So this is what they're showing me. So they want you to. Um, be compassionate toward yourself here, Taurus. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. I feel sometimes lightening the load a little bit can help release energies and help you flow with the energy and just flow with life a little bit easier. So if you're putting too much on yourself, it's now time to take that weight off. Okay, they're showing me that there maybe is too much pressure on you that you might be putting on yourself. Or maybe there's somebody else in the picture that's putting too much pressure on you. Um, and you could do the best job possible here. Okay, take that weight off because I'm feeling this like heavy pressure on my shoulders right now. So maybe there's too much responsibility, too many obligations on you where you can delegate and ask for support, possibly from your partner, right? So there's a partnership and union happening. Perhaps this is you and your um, spouse, uh, Taurus, working together in order to grow and expand. Maybe you're wanting to purchase a home, right? This is why you're trying to gain that extra income and you're trying to balance things out. This could be balancing your finances as a couple, right? Trying to figure things out so you can get ahead in life. That's the other thing that's coming through here. Now I'm getting an entrance of somebody as well for you, Taurus. So I want you to be mindful of this energy because this could be a stranger or somebody that 
is going to open a new path for you, a new experience. There's something that you're meant to learn from this person that is about to enter your life. I'm picking up on a very, very strong soulmate energy. So I don't know if any of you have manifested a soulmate into your life. This person is about to enter. They're already around you. Like I feel they're in your neighborhood or around you somewhere where you passed on the street. Maybe you passed uh, at a coffee shop. Maybe you were in the grocery store together. This person is about to connect with you. And I feel that you are going to have this beautiful energy together. Uh, and you're going to know who this person is because you're going to feel the energy from them. And this is a very, uh, again, mature person, not in age, but in um, personality and spirituality as well. Somebody that is very grounded. So there's something that you are bringing into this relationship and that person. Now, this doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship. So I do feel this could be a really good friend. This could be a business partner. This could be a staff member, right? This could be a new boss that is entering your life right maybe you have looked for another job maybe you're trying to level up in your career and you're working really hard in order to do that to gain more income to be promoted and you um, are lined up with a new manager or a boss or something like that as well so there's almost like this beautiful connection this um, this harmonious uh, relationship happening here that is going to help elevate you Okay, this is what I'm feeling here with your cards today, Taurus. I love this for you because it's such a beautiful energy. I also feel that there is a marriage in the cards for some of you, that there's a wedding happening. I don't know if there's any kind of travel around this, but I'm seeing travel as well. This union and you've worked really hard to get to this place. It's been a lot of work for some of you in a relationship right now and you're finally tying the knot or you're moving in together. Like there's almost like this commitment that is being made here um, in a relationship. Okay, so I'm getting this as well. And again, that baby energy is coming through. Perhaps it'll be a Sagittarius baby. We never know, right? So again, balancing things out here. And sometimes we... Um, it, uh, spirit guides are showing me the five languages of love by Gary Chapman so perhaps there may be some chaos a little bit of instability in a relationship right now for those of you that are watching and I feel that just creating that balance having some open communication sitting down and talking to your partner will bring that back into harmony okay understanding each other's love language as well but I'm seeing this beautiful growth and expansion happening in your lives here Taurus a lot of success a lot of victory coming in a lot of um, recognition um, and an increase in your income in your finances coming through here in the near future and I feel this next two weeks is going to be very important as far as what it is that you're doing in order to create that expansion in your life so even with the three of Pentacles um, picking up on knowledge picking up on skill sets to add more value to yourself is going to help uh, elevate you and add more value where people are going to take notice of what it is that you can offer them okay so lots of ways that this is coming through here for you so I'm now going to pull a bonus card this is the animal spirit oracle deck so we're going to pull a card here so those of you that have been seeing any kind of animals any kind of insects in your life this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance all right, spirit guides, what do my beautiful Taurus friends need to know? There's that Michael and Michelle coming through again. Michael or Michelle today. Dolphin spirit, this and that are true. So any of you seen a dolphin recently? If you have, this is your confirmation. If you haven't, you're seeing one now on your screen. This and that are true. This and that are true. Interesting. And the number 20 on here as well. So two plus zero is two. So number two, life path energy of the number two is what spirit guides are wanting you to embody here. And in numerology, the number two is all about balance. It's about duality. It's about marriage, harmony, and balance. Also communication, okay? So let's pull up uh, Dolphin Spirit here and read that to you and see uh, what it is that spirit would like you to know today, Taurus. All right, number 20, here we are. So dolphin spirit, like her earthly manifestation, is a reminder of duality. As the dolphin is both mammal and sea creature, so too is dolphin spirit for this and that. Two truths coexist, the story you tell and another as well. The duality of life is present when we are suffering, for there is a blessing too in the helpers that appear. 
Within clouds are silver linings. When we, when we later reflect on what happened, we can see that a situation was both this and that, and a choice led to both joy and sorrow. No relationship is either all good or all bad, and people have qualities of both light and shadow. Focus on the positive, for light exists alongside the darkness. Dolphin Spirit calls for you to come up from below and enjoy a weightless moment in the sun as you dive in and out of this and that, out of this and that. Accepting and even enjoying the duality of life here, Taurus. Why not join Dolphin Spirit in acknowledging and affirming the blessings present in this moment? In all areas of your life, there are aspects of both this and that. Today, your complexity and the beauty of the fabric of the universe. Sorry, today you can celebrate this fact and recognize the complexity and the beauty of the fabric of the universe. You are at a place right now where your past self is still present as you move towards the new self you are becoming. Aspects of both selves are present, so even if you want to say goodbye to what was, you are required to find solace in, the, in this between time. Today is not a day to choose one over another either, but rather to accept things as they are without judgment or restriction or resistance. Even in matters of the heart, duality is present. Your next action will be obvious when you drop your bias and see things as a whole. So look at that. What a beautiful message and a beautiful card for you today, Taurus. All right, so now let's pull an angel number for you and see what spirit would like you to know. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. You can also use this as an affirmation today. So let's see what we get here. Number 44, I am supported. So know that you are supported. Taurus, four plus four is eight. Eight is a power number. It's about action. It's about strength. It's about mastery. All right, so spirit guides are calling you to embody the energy of the life path number eight as well. So know that you are supported. Let me read you the message on this card. Your angels are encouraging you to continue on your present life path with diligence and determination and even greater success will come to you in the future. So look at this, Taurus, number 44. If you've been seeing the 44s, 444, four, four, anywhere, this is your confirmation. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.